What do you think Legos, mini M&Ms, chocolate bits, beads all have in common? If you guessed that those are all made by companies that sponsor this video, you'd have been very wrong. Sorry. Thank you for the vote of confidence, but that's not it. This is all stuff that I've had to remove from patients' ears over the last year or so. And no, we're not just talking about children. The stuff that we have to remove from people's ears is absolutely crazy. The mini M&M, that one was an interesting adventure to remove. And yes, that was a young child. Beads, erasers, lead from pencils, Q-tips, scabs, bugs, earwax, of course. This is an earwax removal vlog, so you know you're going to see something get removed from an ear. And then hearing aid parts. In this video, I'm going to show you when we removed a dome from a hearing aid from a patient's ear. Now, at least this is supposed to be in the ear. Obviously, we don't want it to come detached from the hearing aid and just be floating loose in the ear canal. However, it happens. This is a material that is made to be in the body. That doesn't mean we want to leave it there for a long time. If left alone, what would happen is the patient would put their hearing aid back in. It would push that dome further down. It would eventually cause some irritation, collect some earwax, hold it in place, possibly cause irritation and even an infection eventually. This patient came in right away when they lost the tip to their hearing aid and decided to have us take a look, see what we could find, and make sure it wasn't stuck in their ear. Lo and behold, there it is. We used our alligator forceps to grab the flange or the edge of the uh, earbud and pull it out. No harm, no foul, got the patient's hearing aid cleaned up, ears cleaned up, and got them right back on the road. This is earwax removal vlog, or I guess in this case I should say foreign body removal vlog number 73. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.